Well, this is a nice classic coffee, low key, ingratiating, accessible, <laughs> drinkable. I assume I haven't drunk it yet. <laughs> One would assume. Smellable, sniffable. Delicious. As usual with a coffee, the structure, the basic taste structure as opposed to aromatic notes, the thing I notice, notice first because the aromatic notes are not very assertive or complex. Just from the nose, this seems to be kind of sweet, a little acidity, a little liveliness, and quite agreeable. As far as uh, aromatic notes, Compared with, on our last tasting, we did Burundi coffees, this has a very little character to it, perhaps deliberately so. If a supermarket buyer got a Burundi, they might be uh, disconcerted. <laughs> I, I think the phrase too much would be used a bit. I always take for granted when I'm dealing with supermarket coffees, they are often blends, and they're often coffees that are, are blended to be inoffensive, first and foremost, a crowd pleaser. Well, I'm getting, I can fish out of the <laughs> matrix of the aroma a few notes that I could hazard. There's a little caramelly mm -hmm. chocolate, mm -hmm. cocoa. There is a, a little brightness, a little maybe citrusy. Yeah. Not lemon, but maybe orange, tangerine. And there's some floral notes, not prominent. I might associate them with clover, perhaps, fresh clover. Mm -hmm. What do you get? I'm definitely getting flowers. Yeah, clover is one of my favorites, too. Sample clover when you're out on a walk, you really have to get down on your hands and knees, and, and uh, somebody might shoot you if they see you <laughs> sniffing on your their clover. On, well, I do on that. their front lawn. <laughs> I, I get caught all the time doing that. You know, I'm getting uh, leather, like fresh leather. Oh, interesting. This is not an aromatic note that a marketing person would share with the consumer, <laughs> but uh, I find it pleasant. Yeah. I like fresh, the smell of uh, fresh leather. My Very wife, nice. for instance, brings home a brand new purse. Stick your nose and it smells great. Well, the aromatics sort of diminish a bit in the cup, of course, predictably. I think the brightness, the acidity is a little sharp and astringent at this point, which is surprising given it's a supermarket coffee that typically uh, if it is, uh, as you say, a crowd pleaser, it should probably not be so assertive no, with it's, its acidity. Yeah, it's surprisingly assertive for a uh, for supermarket. The finish seems pretty nice. It's a clean finish, as we say. Mm -hmm. It's lasting, lingers, it's kind of sweetness lingers right to the end. The acidity is... Um, prevails, carries into the finish, but it's not very uh, pronounced. It's not unpleasant at all. Kevin, this, this is a solid, <laughs> solid is not quite the right word for this coffee, actually, because it has a good liveliness. So I would say it's a pleasant, lively, Arabica blend. It tastes a lot like Central American coffees, like a good Honduras coffee. Yeah, I was thinking. On the other hand, you know, those coffees are fairly expensive in the big picture because of all the problems they've had with rust disease. It has a Central character, Central America. In other words, by Central America, I mean the Central American countries, and it's a certain style of cup. Uh, that even though the, the countries differ in, in their uh, typical production, there's still a kind of a Central American cup. And, and the most available for blenders is probably Honduras. Honduras produces a lot of coffee and pretty good coffee. Could have Mexico in it. Mexico. I don't taste any African coffee. I don't taste any washed Yurga Chefe or Sidamo no. or... Uh, those origins. And it has, uh, it could have some Brazil. 
the available coffees probably are all northern hemisphere. So, so. I'm, I'm assuming probably, but we'll probably never find out from the bag. No, we won't. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Well, uh, <laughs> let's see. What what is it? Is that that's a Q? Uh, this is breakfast blend. Yeah, Whole that, Foods. Whole Foods. And Ken, this is kind of an interesting coffee to me in this regard. Until very recently, Whole Foods featured Allegro coffees, and Allegro coffee is I know was wholly owned by them. And I don't know whether they just made a marketing decision to just, it's the same coffee, but we decided to put uh, the Whole Foods brand on it, and it's the same stuff, or if it's actually a different roaster. I see that it's it's fair trade certified, right? Fair trade certified, it is, and it's... an organic. Organic. Now, the, the Allegro breakfast blend that I was familiar with w did not have that label on it, that, yeah. if I recall and was not considered organic, it did not advertise being organic. It's interesting, mm -hmm. let's see, they say caramel and citrus, m milk chocolate, I agree with all of that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much matches. There's no leather, but even if they <laughs> taste, somebody As you tasted said, it, too. they wouldn't put it on the yeah, label. They wouldn't yeah. put it on there. And breakfast blend, I should say, since um, this is an opportunity to talk about what these terms mean, breakfast blend, is a code in uh, su in supermarket coffees or I guess large company large roaster coffees. That's a uh, code for light roasted with some acidity, brightness, acidity. In other words, very much like this coffee. the The idea I don't think is that all people drink coffees like this for breakfast. It's more that it's a descriptor for a certain kind of cup. Yeah. People read breakfast blend and they associate it with, uh, with lighter roasts and brighter, sweetly bright coffees, light body. This, we haven't talked about the mouthfeel or the body. It's uh, pretty light. It's light. Kind of uh, comes close to silky, I think. It has smooth texture, but it's light in, in impression of weight. Nice cup. Yeah. And I think for a lot of people, the organic fair trade is uh, positive. For a, a blend like this, in which the, the coffees that normally would go into a supermarket breakfast blend are commodity coffees, the growers would get screwed to the, to the dirt uh, on price. Fair trade is a good deal because it's a significant premium over uh, a, or, uh, the same coffee sold at commodity prices. And there's a little premium for organic too, 5%, something like that, 10. So all around, I think it's a good, a good representation for Whole Foods. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more shows like this.